Hi, my name is Mariah, and welcome to Sparrow Swap, a citizen science project where you can get rid of your house sparrow eggs by donating them to us here at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. We have an option where you can receive these egg replicas in order to swap with the house sparrow eggs to learn a little bit more about house sparrow management. Now, we know that you're familiar with nest box monitoring, but we just wanted to show you a couple ways of packaging these eggs in these Easter eggs such as this and collect the data necessary to make this project successful. And now I'm going to introduce you to our bluebird expert, Aubrey. Thank you, Mariah. So today we're going to walk you guys through the step-by-step -step process of following the protocol for the sparrow swap. Great, let's get started. As you know, eggs are pretty fragile and we want them to be intact from start to finish. To make sure you start off on the right foot, Fill a container of your choice, Tupperware container will do, with rice or bird seed as cushioning to bring with you into the field for egg collection. You can even add separators made out of any paperboard and make indentations into the seed. This will prevent any eggs from rolling around, bumping into each other, and cracking onto the ground. Now that you are all set, collect the house sparrow eggs from your nest box by removing the nest and gently rolling, not pinching, eggs into the palm and placing these eggs into a pre-made cushion carrier. These eggs can be fragile enough to crack under slight pressure. Also, if you find yourself collecting from multiple house bear nests, please make sure to keep the collected eggs separated by clutch and do not mix them together. When you sign up, please let us know whether or not you would like to participate in the actual swap portion of this study. This means that at this step, you should have already received our egg replicas. Spend 30 seconds warming these provided egg replicas in your hand or pocket as you approach the nest box. After removing the house sparrow eggs, place the same number of replicas into the nest. Place a string or piece of grass over the replica clutch and take a picture of the nest before placing it back into the nest box. These two steps will help you keep track of nest status for future visits. Make sure to fill out the first visit section at the top of your data sheet before continuing. Packaging these eggs carefully in such a way that they will remain intact when we receive them will probably be the hardest part of this project. We've devised a plan using these plastic eggs commonly called Easter eggs. The materials you will need include Easter eggs, press and seal plastic wrap, tape, and an egg carton. First, you should spread press and seal plastic wrap over the bottom piece of your Easter egg. Make sure there is enough of a divot for the house sparrow egg to lay in. Next, place the house sparrow egg on top of the divot of your first layer of plastic wrap. And then place another layer of plastic wrap over the house sparrow egg and then over the bottom piece of your Easter egg. Carefully close the Easter egg until it snaps and tape generously shut. Label the tape with nest box name and the date of collection of that particular clutch. Once you have prepared each individual egg within their own receptacle, place all Easter eggs into a recycled egg carton and tape shut. Place the packaged eggs into a secure location in the fridge until you are ready to ship them to the museum. After you have removed house sparrow eggs, or after you have swapped these eggs, we need you to record follow-up observations two more times every seven days in order to make this project successful. These two options represent two different house sparrows management strategies, and we want to compare outcomes of these strategies to gain insight as to what actually works in house sparrow management. Return with your data sheet to the nest box seven days after the initial swap and or egg removal for your second visit. Make sure to answer all questions about nest status regarding visit number two within either the removal only or the swap only column of your data sheet. If the string or eggs appear to have moved since the egg swap, you will know that your nest is still active. Take another picture of the nest and place another string on the clutch before leaving. After another seven days, return to your nest box for your third visit and answer all questions about nest status regarding visit number three within either the removal only or the swap only column of your data sheet. If you did the swap and the female is still attending the nest, leave the nest and visit for a fourth time in seven days. 
You can also choose to wait until the female has abandoned the nest before ending follow-ups and retrieving the egg replicas provided to you. Double check to make sure that the data sheet is completed and fill out any section that you may have missed. Collect the prepared eggs from the refrigerator, the replicas, and the data sheet. Package and ship all of these items to us at Karen Cooper's lab. Thank you guys for your interest in the Sparrow Swap project. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And if you haven't signed up yet, please do so at our website. And if you want to follow us on any of our updates, or even share some of your experiences while doing this project, please share them on Facebook. And we hope you guys have fun. Happy birding!